and welcome. This is Melissa Arnold with the Stocks Rush Reviewing Cisco. Good short today. And I'm just going to go over this here. We shorted this in the day trading room. Oops, let me get over here. Funny, this never got down to 42. Um, we had a good day. Actually, we had a good exit on this today. I'm looking at this. Anyways, we did this right out of the gate. You could have got out or you could have held it. We had a good exit on this. Now that I'm looking back, I think that was near the low of the day. It was. Interesting. Um, <laughs> so it was a nice day trade. We got as much as we could out of it. And I also called a put in this, okay, which was up today. <coughs> Excuse me, but if you're still in it, I called it out till August 21st because I think this can have some more traction. Now, is it going to drop immediately tomorrow? I don't know. I think some of this tomorrow's action in Cisco will depend on the overall market. I do like the weakness in, it, in this. I do think it has more room to go. The next target's 42, obviously. And then even after that, it could get down to 40. It, it, in an ideal world, this would fall with the market tomorrow. If the market rallies tomorrow, this could back up a little bit and then drop off again next week. But I don't think this is holds on to the low from today. And the way that it didn't go anywhere the rest of the afternoon is not a bad sign. Because again, this did not rally. I think the stock was tired. Okay. Huge move in the gap down. Closed at 48.10. Open fell off a planet at 43.79. This the stock was exhausted. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely exhausted. You could have got out of this today with profit if you had a, a small account and just wanted to book some money. But if you have money management rules, which I usually review in the gap class, <clears throat> this didn't meet the honey mustard on these with the money management targets to exit. So I think it's perfectly fine to give this a chance to go and break further. And again, it could happen tomorrow depending on the market. And let's just take a look at this here. So again, Got up today, almost made brand new all-time highs and accused did not, sold off. I didn't look and see why this happened, except for the fact that the stimulus bill just isn't going to happen anytime soon. But that doesn't mean here that we're going to gap down tomorrow and fall. I, I don't know where we gap tomorrow until I get up. Could be neutral, could be up, could be down. But if this does fall tomorrow, Cisco will continue right out of the gate tomorrow, which is the best case scenario for this. But even if it backs up tomorrow and is green, it, the, still, the targets are still valid at 42 and, and then possibly 40. So nice move. Um, if you did this today, you're up. You're just not up 100%. So we'll see where this goes. Good luck, everyone. Watch the Cisco. Nice chart. This was earnings. If you're interested in the Golden Gap course, the next class is August 22nd and 23rd, and the Shark Week special ends tomorrow. Email me and Melissa at stockswish.com for more questions. Have a good day, everyone.